example in the next lecture of the rules for differentiation so here in this part we discuss we will discuss about the differentiation some other rules of the differentiation like exponential and the logarithmic so first is what is the differentiation of the exponential functions so exponential function if suppose our y is e to the power x means exponential function if we have so what is the differentiation of this so what is the differentiation of y with respect to x here we all know that the e value is 2.71828 and so on so the dy by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x means the differentiation of the exponential function uh, is uh, uh, again the exponential function so dy by dx is equal to e to the power x the differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x with respect to x more generally we can say that if our function is y is equal to a a is a co constant term e to the power rx r is also the constant so what is the differentiation of y with respect to x here here a is a constant that is side here and e to the power rx because uh, in the terms of uh, uh, x we have the coefficient is r so it is r is forward so it is r a e to the power r x because here we can solve it by the chain rule also so it becomes r a e to the power r x and what is a e to the power r x we can see here our a e to the power r x is y so we can write it r times of y clear okay so let's take some examples here if we have y equal to e to the power 2x and so what is the differentiation of y here with respect to x means dy by dx is uh, e to the power x differentiation e to the power x but we have the x coefficient is 2 so coefficient is here forward so it becomes 2 e to the power 2x and you can solve it by uh, chain rule means in chain rule you put here 2x is equal to u so e to the power u differentiation is e to the power u and the differentiation of u with respect to x that is 2 uh, differentiation of 2x is 2 so it become 2 e t s to the power 2x next another example is y equal to e to the power minus sin 7x so what is the differentiation of here uh, of y with respect to x so the coefficient of x is minus 7 so minus 7 come forward so it become minus 7 e to the power minus 7x because we know that the differentiation of exponential function means e to the power x is e to the power x clear okay so now the differentiation of the logarithmic function so uh, you know that if uh, um, you know, already know about the logarithmic that if we have the y is equal to exponential function y is equal to e to the power x so what is x here x is our log base e y or log base e we can write it in ln ln means the log that base is e okay so now come to the differentiation if our function y is equal to e to the power x so we earlier now uh, studied that the dy by dx is e to the power x and what is our e to the power x that is y so from the inverse function rule in the last lecture we discussed about the inverse function rule what is that if we know the dy by dx so we can find dx by dy 1 upon dy by dx so same is here if our function y is equal to e to the power x then what is dx by dy so we know that dy by dx here that is y so what is dx by dy that is 1 upon y so if our function y is equal to e to the power x so this is equivalent to writing x equal to ln y so what is the differentiation of this that is dx by dy is equal to 1 upon y so what we can say here that the differentiation of the logarithmic function uh, suppose our function y is equal to log x so the differentiation is 1 upon x but condition is that the base should be e so more generally it's like that we can say that if our y is equal to ln x ln means the log base e so our dy by dx is 1 upon x so 
uh, here one more thing is noted that the derivative of a natural log function doesn't depend on the coefficient of x means here whatever you have the coefficient of x that differentiation is always 1 by x you can see here if our function y is equal to log base e mx so what is the dy by dx here your dy by dx is again 1 by x how is it possible you can see here in your proof that how is it possible so let's take here y equal to ln mx and where m is greater than 0 so when you use here the logarithmic rule what is log rule if we have the two firm numbers in multiplication in with log so it becomes log m plus log n right so we can write this y equal to log m plus log x now when we differentiate it with respect to x so it becomes dy by dx and this is our constant term so what is the differentiation of the constant value that is 0 plus and what is the differentiation of log x i told you earlier slide that the differentiation of log base e x is 1 upon x so it is 1 upon x so you can see here the differentiation of this function is 1 by x right so doesn't mean the coefficient of x here it's clear okay so let's take some other examples here if our function y is equal to log of 5x base is e so what is dy by dx so dy by dx is 1 upon x doesn't mean the coefficient of x okay now if our function y is equal to log of base e x square plus 2x plus 1 so how can you solve this means how can you differentiate it so here because this is our function is a quadratic function so here we need to use the chain rule so according to chain rule we put here this is another function so we assume that v is a function is x square plus 2x plus 1 so now our y is become a log base e v so now apply the chain rule to find the dy by dx so our dy by dx is dy by dv into dv by dx so what is dy by dv so if we differentiate of y with respect to v so it become what is the differentiation of log v that is 1 upon v and what is our v v is our x square plus 2x plus 1 so it is dy by dv is 1 upon x square plus 2x plus 1 now dv by dx what is the differentiation of v here with respect to x that is x square is 2x plus 2x what is the differentiation of 2x that is 2 and what is the differentiation of 1 that is 0 so it will become 2x plus 2 so when we multiply this and solving this so we will get the differentiation of this function with respect to x clear okay so now let's take another example if we have the function y is equal to x raised to the power 4 log x so how can we differentiate here with respect to x of this y so here we can see that we have here the two functions one is x raised to the power 4 and another one is log x so here to solve this we need to use the product rule because we have the two functions when we have the two functions in multiplication in product so we use the product rule so just use here the product rule and what was the product rule that uh, according to uh, product rule we have to take the first function as it is differentiating the second function plus second function as it is differentiating the first function so we here first function is x raised to the power 4 take as it is and what is the differentiation of log x that is 1 upon x plus now second function log x as it is now what is the differentiation of x raised to the power 4 that is 4 x raised to the power 4 minus 1 3 so when you solve it it become x raised to the power 3 plus 4 x 3 log x so this is the differentiation of this function with respect to x now another example is y is equal to log x 3 x plus 2 raised to the power 4 so how can you solve it because this is log so first we apply here the logarithmic form logarithmic property so that according to that log x cube plus log x plus 2 whole 4 right so now 
what is the here again we use the log property log m raised to the power n that become n log m so it become 3 log x plus 4 log x plus 2 now we differentiate it so when we differentiate it with respect to x so it become dy by dx is what is the differentiation of log x that is 1 upon x so it become 3 upon x plus 4 what is the differentiation of log x plus 2 that is 1 upon x plus 2 so it become 4 upon x plus 2 so this is the differentiation of y with respect to x clear okay so here we have the we have a table i uh, give you a table here we have some other uh, functions uh, derivatives is also there so you have to learn this table and remember these differentiations so here we have if uh, what is the differentiation of afx fx is the function of x so that is af dash x and here if we have the two functions in addition u plus v so differentiation is u dash plus v dash and if we have the function f with uh, u so that is f dash u du by dx and if we have the constant function so what is the derivative of constant function we know that the zero and if a function is x raised to the power n so what is the differentiation of x raised to the power n that is n x raised to the power n minus one now if our function is u raised to the power n and we need the differentiation of with respect to x so what is that n u n minus 1 du by dx why we did here du by dx because we find the derivative not with respect to u we find the derivative with respect to x so it become du by dx clear now if our function is u v and u is the function of x and v is uh, u v so what is the differentiation of with respect to x this this is u as it is the function derivative of v with respect to x dv by dx plus v as it is differentiating of a u with respect to x so du by dx now if our function is division u by v so what is the differentiation here we use the division rule so it is our division rule is denominator v square and numerator v du by dx minus u dv by dx now if our function e raised to the power u and we need the derivative of this with respect to x so what is v it be e, e raised to the power u differentiation is e raised to the power u and the differentiation with respect to x so it become e raised to the power u du by dx now another one is if we have the a raised to the power u so what is the differentiation of this if uh, this is not this is a not e a raised to the power u so differentiation is low a raised to the power u log a right and du by dx now if we have log u so what is the differentiation of log u the differentiation of log u is 1 upon u and because we find the differentiation with respect to x so this is du by dx now what is the differentiation of log u with base a so the differentiation with respect to x is log e base a 1 upon u du by dx now what is the differentiation of sin u we know the differentiation of sin x is uh, with respect to x is cos x but if we find the derivative of sin u with respect to x so what is that sin u is cos u and du by dx now the differentiation of cos u with respect to x is minus sin u du by dx and what is the differentiation of tan u that is second square u du by dx the differentiation of sin inverse u that is 1 upon square root of 1 minus u square du by dx and cos inverse u differentiation that is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus u square du by dx and what is the differentiation of tan inverse u tan inverse u is 1 upon 1 plus u square du by dx so these are some other differentiation derivatives with respect to x you need to remember these okay it's clear now so now your differentiation is completed now so thank you today's lecture is completed now be happy be healthy don't take uh,